Hey guys, it's Shadow. I'm gonna be jumping into the Gloria Freeze campaign. Let's go. The Mediterranean climate of the Peloponnese region is well suited to agriculture. To thrive and expand in an increasingly hostile world, however, your people must take possession of suitable forage lands. Three other groups already inhabit this area. Of the three, the Pelasgians are the strongest. Establish five farms to sustain the agricultural needs of your people, and destroy all Pelasgian farms to deal a crippling blow to your most powerful neighbor. It may be necessary to eliminate the Achaeans or Danans to obtain a foothold in this region before taking the fight to the Pelasgians. Then this one's just a race to the uh, next age and then getting the military tax. Hey, Aldo. Oh, nice. This is even better. That's even better. That actually might be possible to. Oh, you know, you need the next stage for the farm anyway. I was just thinking. I'm going to get away with not. Damn, that second house didn't go down very quickly. We have to kill five Pelasian bombs. It's gonna be too difficult. Yeah, I had a feeling that this is fine. I'm gonna try and sleep with the block, I'm assuming it can. I'm really pushing these in. I'm going to find the berries as well. Oh, we can take this. Oh, that one's just not operating at all. I always find this to be almost like an unofficial additional um, tutorial. Could have been friends, yellow. Yeah, I don't really know how to use uh, the garrison there. I wonder if we can try and uh, push these to the GC. It's a bit of a journey though. You know what, actually, maybe we can um, use a. Uh, what's it called? A storage pit for that instead. Oh, that should barracks down there. Is it 20 wood? 30 wood, 30 wood, that's right. I'm going to have found uh, four of the by now, to be honest. Oh. I didn't want to take it any longer. Alright, with all this number of them, I should be able to do that. Make a couple more, but I don't really want to make many more, to be honest with you now. 
We have more than enough villagers for base of the rest of the game. Start building barracks even. We just have to hope that they'll drop off enough pretty soon. It wouldn't be so bad if there was actually some... Oh, there's a, there's a water here. It wouldn't have been so bad if there was a bit more natural food near to where we started. We need another barrack. I think they don't actually um, necessarily get to the next stage if I remember correctly, they just get a bunch of axemen. Or frigate, essentially. Sorry. Village of the Delicious. Galleon? Oh, that's broken. And that one says Cannon Galleon, oh boy. Nice patch is a little bit buggy, but <laughs> that one's not what I was expecting to see. Alright, I think the... Uh, Darnians are over here somewhere. Uh, Palacios, anyway. I don't really need more villagers, so I just keep playing that. Am I completely off base thinking that I'm meant to be over here? Well, having a scout would be great. Oh no, they are over there, there we go. Get rid of their farms. Love how it's not like a uh, focus down the villages or anything like that. It's like their farms are one of the, the most threatening things. Kind of wild to think that my axe when I was doing quite literally. Uh, I think it's like three times the damage here. As the clubman is. Alright, let's go here and get these. Next four farms down, and uh, these farms down. I think this is what used to confuse me so much about this game. So it was mostly a campaign player. And I didn't understand how to get farms <laughs> for the longest time. Is that fifth one almost built? And GG. Pretty nice and easy. Your people are now largely settled, and they have prospered for the past several generations. You are not alone, however. Other city-states have risen and begun to expand as well. As border clashes begin, it becomes clear that growth is possible only at the expense of neighboring rivals. The Tyrrhenians covet the lands that you now control and have begun to aggressively press the issue. This outrage must not be allowed to continue. Secure your control over this region by capturing the ancient ruins close to the nearby town of Tyrrhenians. 
Build two sentry towers adjacent to the ruins to deter any further enemy incursions. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. The two eight each. I think it's two each. Do they have army there already? Ah, uh, they already have um, yeah. In which case. So I'll put these all in here for a moment. No need for issue shortly, right? I don't think there's actually any fish. Can I mark it up? Okay, so there is a uh, deer at least, and there's another one. Could definitely be one. Well, there's the fish. A very small amount, though. I can actually see. Uh, playing this on fast is uh, kind of wild. <laughs> Come on. Some of these are killed in really good spots, and some of them are absolutely garbage. <laughs> Let me just need to get Axeman and the two upgrades. Oh, we actually have to transport. That's more of a problem. <laughs> What's this one again? To City Watch. Ah, they um moved that from. What's it called? It used to be in the government center, I'm pretty sure. I like that change. I thought it was a little strange when they put it straight into the. Government center in Apparently a huge amount of woods to get across. Imagine there's not too many defenders. Or hopefully not anyway. Damn, all of them just run out in the same few seconds. Actually, might de that. We're about to be able to come. I should build bombard towers. What? <laughs> oh, I think one of the updates I did must have scrambled that entirely. No, there's been a bunch of bugs. I've never seen that before. I was just going to do Axeman, but why not do something a bit fancier? Put a couple of uh, fish there. And then we'll do transport. Very chill missions. No aggression. 
Or nothing, really. Axeman, this one. Actually, you know what? Let's do a couple of just good old cavalry, to be honest. I need a little bit of gold and we can sell a bit of wood if needed to get more of them. Where's the deep fish? Let's see if I need to... Oh. Yeah, I can. A little more defensive than I thought it was going to be. Actually... Where the Greeks? I don't know. Might actually be connected if the scout is uh, around. I think the Greeks are cheaper or stronger, Carmo. I think it's cheaper with Greeks. See if we can start pounding those down and work out what else they have. Oh boy. I think they're gonna have that much, yeah. Might also add some broadswords potentially. Because these do get very expensive. Oh no, I need the stone! What am I doing? That's so throwing. Okay, well, seeing as we're already screwed up. I have to be able to bite back at some point. Research Watchtower, then Sentry Tower. Do kind of need a couple more mills. How much is this? 50 gold, but I don't have 50 gold. So that storm was just so incredibly bad. So I used to the storm just being completely useless. But on the one time where it isn't. Completely, uh, do something stupid. Oh crap. That is not good. I think I'm getting the better phrase here for the moment though. Oh come on, I crawled you down to here. I didn't control button far enough, but still it's annoying. I think Sentry Tower uh, is actually a few stone as well, so that means we need to buy. 
Another 200. Oh boy. It's in that quite a big stockpile of food, to be honest. Alright, we got it back. Good deal with that. Hey, where did my transport go? Ah, oh, there it is. Oh no. He can probably send some more bills in that case. What are these buckets doing? Okay. Could you kind of build relatively fast though? Mm -hmm. Yeah, by the time this next little arrives, it's probably gonna be too late anyway. Oh, maybe not. Amazing how fast paced this uh, game is in some ways. Like, like, Area 2 is obviously not exactly completely slow paced, but it's definitely not quite as crazy as this is. And a lot more of the campaign, I think, uh, a bit more thought out at the beginning. After having acquired a valuable artifact for the Minoans, you have discovered that they plan to pay you not in coin, but in blood. Led by a group of seven elderly priests, the Minoans have surrounded your company and treacherously attacked. Hopelessly outnumbered, your only chance of survival is to flee. Escape the clutches of the Minoans and search for allied troops in the area. Once you have gathered your strength, Return to Crete and exact your vengeance. Beware, for some of the locals support the Minoans. Destroy their temple and reclaim the artifact from Mycenae. Ooh, this one I remember being quite fun. There's the monks, there they are. Jesus. Look how hectic this is. Oh, shit, this probably helps if I actually have the transfers ready to go or something like that. Come on. Thank you. I'm gonna guess the Pulaskians uh, are not friends. The Minoan Scouts obviously not friends. The Minoan themselves not friends. Mycenae and uh, allies probably on our side, I'd imagine. Let me find out this is the wrong section. Oh, God. oh definitely wrong section. Oh, what the hell? You'd think I'd remember this mission eventually. Like, quite. A long time ago, I guess. Don't tell me no. Maybe I should just try and kill a ballista rather than just running away from them. Oh, okay, no. Oh, yes, yeah, the island chain one. Yeah. I remember. Actually, yes, we can do all these transports. Oh, 
five villages? Apparently not. Oh, so they're leaving all those transports. <laughs> oh, there's more here. There'll be more on the other side, I'm sure. Is that the... Oh, no, I was gonna say, that would be a very small army to work with. Yeah, don't delete your army. <laughs> or the, no, the um, transports, I guess you should say, more specifically. Like pulling teeth trying to get these on. Eight fixed forces scenarios the worst. Let's put, let's use this as the area we go through. Get in the damn thing. I was gonna say, that will definitely be... Takes so long to get across. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, we're good. I don't want to get rid of this. The rest of them, not too worried about. Let all the weak ones heal up for a bit. Most league ones, anyway. I always forget how bad the original Age of Empires one half landing was. This obviously has its moment. I should have expected it, didn't. And this might have been why I didn't play this mission too often. I don't care about losing a couple of the um, composite bows, they're so not that great.
I don't see people transporting a lot. <laughs> Bad luck in AOE too, but... Here yeah, it's just impossible. These units are not having it. Alright. Hopefully there's a little area we can do a little bridge head. I think like bridge head is the best thing I'm looking for. Well, I'm looking for but no. Somewhere we can land pretty comfortably. This is straight up refusing to do anything. Get them off back and start killing them up. Honestly, it's probably better to land somewhere else, closer to this. But this is probably the safer option. So I think that works better for a mission like this. Good. Apparently that doesn't matter because they're not going to engage properly anyway. Insane range on um, like comp bows, but I actually think they're using comp bows, so to be honest. That most of their army though? It feels like it could very well be most of their army now. Because 
think we can be a little more aggressive with how we do this now. Yeah. Some fun. I have to be somewhere in my game, most likely. Oh no, it's <laughs> pretty obviously right there. <laughs> oh my god, you can come back, those are obviously not do anything anyway. So. Okay, resources. Unless you can do the garrison break that you can do there, too. The overseas expansion of the Mycenaeans has brought them into contact with other cultures that simultaneously pose opportunities and dangers. In a defiant but inspired act, Paris, Prince of Troy, has kidnapped the beautiful Helen of Sparta and taken her back to his home. The fury of your brother Menelaus, Helen's husband and king of Sparta, knows no bounds, and he has appealed to you, Agamemnon, king of Mycenae, for help. Jumping at the opportunity for war and renown, you have assembled a vast army bent on the destruction of Troy. The city-state lies far across the Aegean Sea, however, and the campaign will require a strong navy to launch a seaborne invasion of the Trojan heartland. Go forth dauntlessly. Eternal fame and glory await. Alright. Kill Hector in Paris and capture a treasure. Uh, let's do that for a moment, I guess. Alamas. Uh, do we have this area to use? I think we do, yeah. And mark here. It's a light wheel ASAP. Can actually afford it. Uh, pretty much now. We idle. It's so strong that it's uh, worth idling a lot of villager time for it. A lot of TC idle time anyway. Hector, Paris. Pretty strong units. I'm guessing uh, mine aren't nearly as good. Well, actually, that's not bad. Ajax and Achilles are being pretty strong there. Can't really get away if you want them to, but it's a problem for another time. Crap, I didn't realize we actually had a dock, but that would have been quite useful. Makes sense, though. That is the usual, that's a stable. Let me guess, there's no actual gold on this part of the map. All of the gold is on this side. Uh, I need a government center. Then we can build an extra TC. Although, the population is 50, we don't really want a second TC. We're not here anyway. Want it when we land, we're gonna get one. We a much bigger wood economy right now. We would use market, but I don't really want to uh, lose too much. The alternative does that you sell the stone. I think that can work too, potentially. 
Alright, let's get War Galley upgrade in. Slowly move more and more boots. That one can stay there for a bit longer. Well, I actually put a respawn for those few farms. I'm not going to really want to put a huge number there. I actually have three heroes, Odysseus, or I don't really want to lose the hero for the Yeah, get flexed on. Need two more houses. Wow. And we need the market upgrade as well. I actually have more than 50 pop. This is why you should check the um things. Shouldn't be too difficult either way. I thought that there might be some gold on a little island nearby, but apparently not. Boom. That's satisfying my character. Apparently the um, war galleys of AV2 are more like this. I'm guessing that's the pop limit. There's all the gold. One on here, or maybe two on here and one on the forward, and start dismantling stuff on the main island. Might start off with Axeman, to be honest. Oklahoma. You know, you can probably actually sell wood and get a whole bunch of Hop lights instead. Oh, that's uh, an upgrade that's completely fucked in terms of its description versus. Oh, shit. 
Uh, oopsie. What plan does he have? Greek strength get great. Uh, what's it called? Uh, towers. Could be wrong. No Romans have cheap towers, but probably garbage ones. Oh, I'm confusing that with that. The upgrades I want, yeah, pretty much. Once you get through like the stronger units, it's not usually too much concern after that point. Entry tower. I should be using to be this. I'm being very, very lazy. Let's go through here. Start killing these and that doesn't uh, last very long. I wish these train just a little boss job. Obviously, it's probably good to leave Dora. You can just keep making more and more buildings. Let's go start killing things off. And then we need to go find where that thing is. The Mycenaean civilization has fallen to ruin, and the rule of the Aegean is up for grabs. In the midst of this chaos, your city-state of Athens has managed to survive and even prosper, expanding throughout much of Attica. The local agricultural supply is not enough to support your burgeoning population, however, and before long overpopulation is sure to lead to famine and anarchy. The ruling council has decided on a bold plan to send settlers to establish overseas settlements in Ionia. The local Luwians have inhabited this region for centuries, 
but they are far too weak to repel your people. Demonstrate your dominance of the region. Seize the initiative quickly before famine strikes, or the Luians decide to raid Attica and the rest of Greece. Same t-shirt, no beard, let's go. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, the uh, game had a lot of issues when I was playing this uh, campaign. There's a whole bunch of crashes and stuff, so I couldn't unfortunately uh, finish it on that day. Let's get on to the food. Actually, I remember. Oh. Oh, I got three when I had played this before. I think I almost finished it. Even more frustrating. Uh, watching this at uh, fast speed is kind of wild how quickly the uh, units move. I believe there was an island here that we could capture. Mm -hmm. Oh, was it? Ah, oh, crap. Oh, there we go. Right, Tali, man. The plan here is that I'll be building uh, a government center uh, at TCM. Next area, so I can build more villages. And uh, do I have a market already? I don't think I do. I do have to admit, I don't love the fact that you have to build a market to get all these, uh, hacks in. Like, it's interesting not having all of your economic and every, all those other sorts of upgrades come out of the one thing. At the same time, it is also kind of frustrating at times. Let me try and take out the Aegean pirates in its entirety. That ballistics, jeez. Should have been made earlier, but we are. Feels so important to get. Select all TCs, uh, 
be on the ton of room. Transports in this game are really resilient. Let oh. me try and get up to the next stage, to be honest. Got a pretty strong economy now. I think I have my. Oh, I don't know if I have my two balloons actually. Let's build that. Just in case. I think I definitely did a little faster last time. Probably not. Ballistics or something? I'm sure I'm not going to get ballistics until this stage. I find it hard to imagine that they would have had that. enjoy using this unit so much.
the hell are they doing? I know there's been regrouping issues on um, A2's engine for a while, but this is even worse than usual. That would have been really useful, I didn't realise. I always forget that's an upgrade you can get, because these ones are already so fast. Compared to uh, the usual, anyway. Yeah, it's not over. Buildings in this game are just so weak. past several centuries, the Greek city-states have expanded their influence both in Hellas and overseas. Now, a powerful coalition led by the dual monarchy of Sparta is challenging your city-state of Athens for dominance in a conflict that has lasted three decades. In the wake of the disastrous Sicilian expedition, Sparta has seized the initiative, claiming several key victories and drawing ever closer to Athens. You have no hope of defeating the battle-hardened Spartans in the field at present, but there is a chance that you may be able to defend the city long enough for reinforcements and supplies to arrive and turn the tide in your favor. The Spartan army is reliant on a large baggage train of supplies. If it is captured, their siege will be delayed considerably. I do have to wonder how I, um... Baggage train would have looked like, yeah. I say to rush inside as soon as possible. I find that you kind of need like a bit of this very long distance food initially. Because you just have nothing to start off with. Like, that's how much wood you have to work with. It's not great. Plus, these farms aren't going to last very long anyway. Might as well do what we can with them. And then rush them inside afterwards. I think we can build a T2 with that relatively safely. Hopefully the tower's enough for the difference. Hmm. It's been less and less life right now. It was like we will win, but not by much. <laughs> Luckily they uh, are obsessed with rules, otherwise we'd be very dead. Uh, I probably, probably could have helped a bit more as well. That's the last military unit I actually have available. Bombus, 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 Bombus,
Ah, cool. That's a little bomb boy, man. We just have to rely on some larger ships here. There's more. Oh, 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 I'm gonna have a bit of time to get the economy rolling. Um, I don't have a. I don't know. I do. Let's see. He's like been busy for a bit longer, at least. Like the half lights do take a lot of damage still, so it's not as bad as it could be. I only have a pop on level 50. Also, they've got the upgrade as well now. Some reason I'm not really bothering to attack the farm economy. I really need to add more merchant ships here. Let's slow them down a bit more. We can get in three here. Although I'd rather they attack uh, this area than they attack that area. Get less to defend that. Watch is this. I think I underestimated how much uh, of that would be good necessary in getting these sorted. Might just leave one tile of a gap to get through. I actually might be able to safely start taking some of this now. I'm uh, less reliant on afraid to get everything going. I don't know what my hot key is for academies. It feels like it should be pretty obvious, but. Oh well. Let's get aristocracy. I really thought the Thebans were. Friends of ours. Oh, I thought there'd be um, something down here. Are they just landing each time? Or they just sort of like a big army on this island and slowly trickle it across? I 
Oh, there's a camp down there, of course there is. It's amazing how much damage these things do when they actually get in range. Oh. That's what's happening here. Obviously, well, that's obviously. I was thinking we probably won't win that fight, but things are nutty. Get that and that. He's not even fully upgraded either. That's the more insane bit about it. Did I get through all that gold? No way. That was nothing. I think he'll even get Centurion, but if that's how little gold access we have, then that's not gonna work. Oh, it's down here. Wondering if I have to land across or something. I remember as a kid, I could not work out to play this mission in the slightest. I wish they wouldn't get pulled off on the game of And that should be the last two captures. And uh, mission one. Or is that another part? GG. The Peloponnesian War has concluded, bringing peace to Hellas for a short time. You are part of a company of 10,000 Greek mercenaries, hired to support Cyrus the Younger in his struggle to claim the Persian throne from Artaxerxes II, his brother. The Battle of Cunaxa yielded an overwhelming victory for your company, but it is all for naught as Cyrus fell in combat. Your contingent of mercenaries is now isolated deep inside the Persian Empire with no help in sight. The journey to the nearest port on the Black Sea will be long and perilous, but it yields the opportunity for ample spoils and an eventual return home. Capture the artifact held in the city on the coast, build a transport ship there, and bring the artifact to friendly territory in the far north. I don't think I ever actually played this mission, so this will be the first time, I think. Oh no, I have played it. I didn't play it as a kid, but I have played it once. Part of what I um, PC anyway, so we might as well just start moving with these ones. There's no threat from behind unless they quoted it specifically so there is. The fish here? Of course there isn't. Alright, got these all in their own control groups. My priests are that much faster than siege, what the hell? Be. 
Otherwise the lions will attack. So. Alright, these ones can now start making a journey up to this direction. Where they can build a TC. Let's see if I find somewhere better in the meantime. Keep them close enough by that if I um, make a mistake. Or if there is an enemy, I can get them out more easily. Okay, yeah, that's a better place. Because there's also some food around here. Oh, that's why it's a better place. Well, there's no any trees, so there's no any downside. I don't even have the upgrade anyway to be able to kill that building, yeah. Alright, start building some houses. Oh nice, they even give us some tribute, that's good. I didn't expect the resources part of that. I don't want to see there's another place I can uh, cause havoc. Without attracting too much attention. That's fine. There's also not much in the way of, uh. or any gold in this part of the island by the looks of things. I only mean, one monk's healed quite fast actually. I think faster than, uh, every two monks do by quite a margin. I transfer the elephant to collect that to survive a lot longer. I can probably get it away more easily. If uh, things go pear shaped. Exactly how the missions come to play out, but that's how we're playing it. Really need to actually put more on the wood. Seems like they're kind of chill around here, so we can transport more across. Let me find those little trap. So this can't be hard. Mm. 
wonder if I should have gone that way then. Oh, the duck. End up with this and why not? Once I work out where to actually land, I think this is where I actually land. A long time. <laughs> actually, one elephant against the world. I'm absolutely shredding them in the process. villagers to come here. You know, these uh, Heliopolis are surprisingly good against buildings. Maybe not surprising, I don't think surprising is the right word. They're better than you might expect. Something else I always forget on Turn of Rome slash AV1 is that the buildings don't actually have uh, armor like they do in AV2. So that's why they melt. That's one of the main reasons they melt anyway. Down there, attack radius. Pretty cool. I'll take that out. Looks like I have all those upgrades in as well. Oh, I want, if we have Centurion on it already as well, I think I'll die, Happy Man. And Heliopolis, for that matter. But too much to ask. We're gonna have fun here. In which case, we just start deleting a few of these. Oh, we even have heavy catapults. I don't really like using those, so if I can avoid that. Market? Oh, okay, so it sort of limits you in its own way in terms of how much. Crazy to think that uh oh, I was going to the Oh that virgins don't even get 
Two handed swordsman in uh, AO2. Oh, nice. And yet here we get knee generics. I believe it's a reference to. Um, the Persian Immortals, so obviously. Uh, each civilization's strength to change is there. As time went on, but it's still kind of crazy to think. Is that normal? I haven't lost any units yet. I feel like I probably should have by now. Oh, I'm gonna try and convert that. Oh, that burger's up first, you know. You should at least be able to produce units, right? That's the entire thing to what you got. I'm guessing this is have like one big fight to get the, the artifact. Yeah. Not the most interesting mission yeah. I have to say. Uh, this transport's not going to be useful anymore, so let's get rid of it. Make another monk, but you only get the one. So at least I'm not from the side of the map, why not? I don't have a granary to have auto reseed on. It's sad. So we could probably just defeat uh, the, this group of versions here. They would resign and then we'd win the mission. Some villages somewhere. Must have just deleted them. Plus one on the front, apparently, which does not surprise me. Oh, 
Oh my god, bullets oh, each, just in case. <laughs> Even the bonus point. Oh no. Some of the missions, if you defeat all the opponents, they automatically resolve. But here it doesn't seem like that was the case. I felt like my enemies just had way too little military. And maybe I shouldn't complain. And just uh, be happy with the easy win, but I don't really feel satisfied. War. The rivalry between Hellas and Persia has reignited after the eruption of the Macedonians into the region, and the Greeks have been united under you, Alexander of Macedon. You have dauntlessly marched into Asia Minor and are now surrounded by your enemies. Although they are numerous, they are disorganized, uncoordinated, and cowardly. No match for your disciplined forces. Seize the initiative and defeat them individually before they can prepare their defenses. Victory in this campaign will etch your name into the pages of history for eternity. The casual defeat all of your enemies. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, okay, that's annoying. Alright, put the top. Here we go. Let's start. Oh, it's a 2TC start. Oh, I know. I don't think we have any allies, do we? I was gonna say, please don't kill us. What sort of defenses they have? Oh, it's just hot lights. So. Yeah, okay, that. They'll be relatively easy once we have food. So until we have food, it's not great. Nice time that I have to survive this time. Or any time. Well, a lot of these missions, they make you keep the uh, damned hero alive, and that's not something I'm good at. Tower here for a moment. Ideally, here I would like to get a couple more upgrades. Uh, I distract them whilst we get enough ships to defend against this. Uh, 
I didn't want to do that. I need a siege as well, to be honest. That's still alive, wow. Oh no. Silly AI. I'm not really getting me to build numbers up fast enough, but that's fine. Or fine enough, I should say. Give me the catapult. That's just a stone thrower. Oh, actually, they don't have the second range upgrade. It's fine. Can you use a stone thrower for now? <laughs> oh, they hit me. Um, let's get ballistics. Oh, that'll be useful at some point. Alright, see if we can lure them out. Doing this. Nope, apparently not. They're happy being completely still, apparently. I don't like using stone balls in this game. I think we'll switch to Heliopolis as soon as we can. I love catapult Tirone, so I kinda wanna get a couple there and start sieging that as well. No what? I should care about that, but don't know. Yeah, she's like, oh my god, she has to get the live. <laughs> This upgrade I can uh, get the extra ring. Okay. Okay. 
Feels like I'm missing so much in terms of wood economy right now. Alright, at least that's one now. I see we'll find where Evernary is. There we go, apparently. Units we probably don't want to use into uh, uh, Lionite slash Centurions, part one. I think here yeah, she's having one of these is gonna be good. Also, if I had Centurion... Oh, actually, I'm also missing this, which is not helping. The Centurion would really help the damage output a bit. We're building a Wonder, of course, there. I think we range by Catapult for a minute. That's an easy uh, kill then. We have more on wood still. Okay, orange is gonna be dead pretty soon. It's stable. Let's the tower? I got a tower. I'm gonna sneeze out there. I'm missing out for me. What we do here is we find some light from villages. Also get a couple of cattle pot. Centurion with all the gold I have. That's too good to resist. There is more gold to us, A lot more work to get. I have to find myself a DC to destroy. I 
are the catapults? I don't know, pop spice, I think. Alright, let's just go straight for the GC, seeing as that seems to be the fastest way to get them to resign. I have a second one somewhere. That's annoying. Ooh, there's another thing over there. these freaking powers. This feels like a problem mission though. A little more difficult, but not so difficult or so grindy that it's not enjoyable. What is the range of these catapult remotes the where they got trounced by towers? Oh, that's my CC bills getting We have to go destroy this. Oh, I did the last one. I don't think I actually made for a little bit of long hot feet for it. Each time. That seemed to be enough actually without the long.
guessing that second zoo that actually is down there instead. Where I was thinking of doing. Freaking conversion. I thought Jeremy's actually suck. Looks like that's disconnected from the mainland. This has increased the number of you can transport, yeah, it's not that useful, yeah. Alright, let's go straight for that CC. I'm managing it up in the end, but that's why it's got 190 years to go. Let me get rid of this damn temple. Actually not that expensive. I used to love using juggernauts. That's not the damn was it? That's a government center. It looks so similar to me in this game. Especially for food. For the journey. Look at the temple there, for God's sake. I've already won the mission anyway, it's just. I'm to deal with the annoyance that comes from monks. Well, priests.
Thanks for watching my playthrough of the Gloria Grease campaign. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, and I'll see you soon with the next campaign.